Good morning, folks. I know I haven't been on here these past couple of days. I've been going through some difficult times, particularly in this relationship. So I, I finally decided to end it. So that's none of your concerns or business. So I'm just going to just go my way. Anyway, this is the, this is the word for today, part one, December 9, 2019. It's 4:15 in the in the in the in the morning, not afternoon. 4:15 in the morning on December 10th, 2019. And this is the word for today, part one, December 9, 2019. So, let's go right into the Word of God. This is December 8th, 2019 at 4.40 p.m. And I get the Word of the Lord from me as soon as I'm listening to this sermon by Benjamin Faircloth. I'll go into that here in just a minute. I will break Babylon, USA into pieces. I will break Babylon, USA into pieces. This is found in Jeremiah 51, verses 20 through 25, key verses 22 through 24, also found in the book of Zechariah. Chapter 12, verse 3. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verses 20 through 25. Okay, Jeremiah chapter uh, 51, verses 20 through 25. You are my battle axe and weapons of war, for with you I will break the nation in pieces. With you I will destroy kingdoms, with you I will break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you I will break in pieces the chariot and its rider. With you I also break in pieces man and woman. With you I will break in pieces old and young. With you, I will break in pieces the young man and the maiden. With you, I will also break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you, I will break in pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen. And with you, I will break in pieces governors and rulers. Okay, uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 3. Zechariah 12 and 3, And it shall happen in that day, I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples. All who, had have it, all who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all the nations of the earth are gathered against it. Okay, folks, so if you want to listen to Benjamin Faircloth's uh, sermon on the YouTube channel, it's called The Threshing Floor. This is from December 8, 2019. This is the YouTube link. I'll post a link in the description box below if you want to listen to it. It's a little over an hour. It's worth, it's worth listening to. Uh, he's going to go into the book of Jeremiah there. I don't recall what uh, chapters and verses, but you know it's worth 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 listening to for the hour. Okay, let's go to the next entry here. My journal. This is at 8:35 p.m. at December 8, 2019, and we're talking about the justice of God's judgment. The justice of God's judgment. This is found in the book of Jeremiah 5, verses 1 through 31. Key verses. The ones I, I picked out, I found that I thought were relevant, were verses 4 through 5, 8 through 9, 15, 18 through 19, 21 through 22, and finally verse 24. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah 5, uh, verses 1 through 31. Okay, folks, Jeremiah 5, verses 1 through 31. Run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. Seek, no, seek now and know, and seek in her open places, if you can find a man, if there's anyone who executes judgment. Who seeks the truth, and I will pardon her, though they say, As the Lord lives, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are you not eyes on the truth? You have stricken them, but they have not grieved, but you have consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than rock, they have refused to return. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor, and they are foolish, for they do not know the way of the Lord, the judgment of their God. I will go to the great men and speak to them, for they have known the way of the Lord, the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. Therefore a lion from the forest shall slay them. A wolf of the desert shall destroy them. A leopard will watch over their cities. Every one who goes out from there shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many. Their backslidings have increased. How shall I pardon you for this? Your children have forsaken me, and sworn by those that are not gods, when I had fed them to the full. Then they came into adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. They were like well-fed, lusty stallions, every one neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Go upon her walls and destroy, but do not make a complete end. Take away her branches, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously with me, says the Lord. They have lied about the Lord and said, It is not he, neither will evil come upon us, nor shall we see sword and famine, and the prophets become wind, for the wind is not in them. Thus 
shall it be done to them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and this people would and shall devour them. Behold, I will bring a nation against you from afar, O house of Israel, says the Lord. It is a mighty nation, and it is an ancient nation, a nation whose language you do not know, nor can you understand what they say. Their quiver is like an open tomb. They are all mighty men. They shall eat up your harvest and your bread, which your sons and daughters should eat. They shall eat up your flocks and your herds. They shall eat up your vines and your fig trees. They shall destroy your fortified cities in which you trust with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, says the Lord, I will not make a complete end of you. And it will be when you say, Why does the Lord our God do all these things to us? And you shall answer them, Just as they have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land, so you shall serve aliens in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and proclaim it in Judah, saying, Hear this now, O foolish people, without understanding, who have eyes and see not, and have ears and hear not. Do you not fear me, says the Lord? Will you not tremble at my presence, who have placed the sand as a bound of the sea, by a perpetual decree that I cannot pass beyond it, and though its waves toss to and fro, yet they cannot prevail? Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it? But this people has a defiant and rebellious heart. They have revolted and departed. They did not say in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God, who gives rain both in the former and the latter in this season. He reserves it for us for the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these things away, and your sins have withheld good from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lie in wait as one who sets snares. They set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds. So their houses are full of deceit. Therefore they have become great and grown rich. They have grown fat. They are sleek. Yet they surpass the deeds of the wicked. They do not plead the cause, the cause of the fathers, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy they do not defend. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? Shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? An astonishing and horrible thing has been committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule by their own power. And my people love to have it so. But what will you do in the end? Okay, folks, so the last entry in my journal is December 8th, 2019 at 8.43 p.m. This is from my New King James Version Bible. Impending destruction from the north. So we're going to talk about impending destruction from the north. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 30. Key verses I found were 5 through 8, 11 through 13, 16, and 20 through 23. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah 6, verses 1 through 30. Jeremiah 6, verses 1 through 30. O you children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee from the midst of Jerusalem. Blow the trumpet in Tekoa, and set up a signal fire in Beth. Hasurim. Hasurim. For disaster appears out of the north, and great destruction I have likened the daughter of Zion to a lovely and delicate woman. The shepherd with her flock shall come to her. They, they shall pitch their tents against her all around. Each one shall pass her in his own place. Prepare war against her. Arise, and let us go up at noon. Woe to us, for the day goes away. For the shadows of the evening are lengthening. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus has the Lord of hosts said, Cut down trees and build a mound against Jerusalem. This is the city to be punished. She is full of oppression in her mist, as a fountain wells up of water, so she wells up of her wickedness. Violence and plundering are heard in her. Before me continually are grief and wounds. Be instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from you, lest I make you a desolate, a land not inhabited. Thus says the Lord of hosts, They shall through thee glean as a vine the remnant of Israel. As a grape gatherer, put your hand back into the branches. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Indeed, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot give heed. Behold, the word of the Lord is a reproach of them. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of the fear of the Lord. I am weary of holding it in. I will pour it out on the children's outside and on the assembly of young men together. For even the husband shall be taken with the wife, the age of him who is full of days and their houses shall be turned over to others, fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord, because from the least of them even to the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. They have also healed the hurt of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. 
Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed. Nor did they know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among those who fall. At the time I punish them, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths where the good way is, and walk in it. Then you will find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk in it. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Listen to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not listen. Therefore hear, you nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth. Behold, I will certainly bring calamity on this people, the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not heeded my words, nor my law, but rejected it. For what purpose to me comes frankincense from Sheba, and sweet came from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifice is sweet to me. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will lay a stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers of the sons together shall fall on them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus says the Lord, Behold, a people comes from the north country, and a great nation will be raised from the farthest parts of the earth. They will lay hold on, hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea, as they ride on horses, as men of war are arrayed against you, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the report of it. Our hands grow feeble. Anguish has taken hold on us. Pains as of a woman in labor. But do not go out into the field, nor walk by the way, because of the sword of the enemy. Fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, dress in sackcloth, and roll about in ashes. Make mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation. For the plunder word will suddenly come upon us. I have set you as an assayer and a fortress among my people, that you may know and test their way. They are all stubborn rebels, walking as slanderers. They are bras and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows blow fear seriously. The lead is consumed by the fire. The smelter refines in vain. For the wicked are not drawn off. People will call the rejected silver because the Lord has rejected them. Okay, folks and family, thanks for your 12 minutes of time. This is the Word for Today, Part 1, for December 9th, 2019. This is the Word for Today, Part 1, December 9th, 2019. Everyone have a blessed day, a blessed week. Take care of yourselves. God bless you on everything you do. God loves you, and so do I, very much. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Very soon. He's coming for his bride. He's coming for his wife. Get ready. Prepare yourselves. Today is your day of decision making. Today is your day of salvation. The Bible is your roadmap to salvation. Read it daily. Find out what God has to say about you and your life. All he wants is you. He loves you more than anything, more than his own son. Okay, folks, you all have a great way, a blessed week, and stay tuned for part two of this message, part two, after this. Thank you for your time, and have a great day. I love you all very much. Bye-bye for now.